Hey guys, and welcome back to Hard Edge. When we last left off, we found the system disc, which was hidden in the jukebox of all places. Which, uh, you know, I mean, if you're going to hide one, then I can think of worse places to hide a system disc. Uh, I'm, I'm sure if you give me a few minutes, I'll come up with one. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't want to hide one in the toilet now, would you? I mean, technically, I suppose the disc is plastic. should be fine. Anywho, uh, we have to go back. Oh, hi. Hello. We have to go back and try and put the system disc in the center uh, where the big bomb was. So I've discovered that much. Okay. Let's see how far we get with that, shall we? Thanks for punching me in the dick. Punched in the sacks. Rather not have to go through that again. Although Burns looks like a regular iron ball, so I'm not really sure he's that bothered by being punched in the sacks. Anyway, let's go Burns the old boy. He really does look like a character straight out of... Um, wait a minute. Are we going the right... He looks like right out of Farm Fantasy. I like the way he's jumping up and down on this lift as well. It's like, uh, I don't know about that, Burnsy. Uh, we don't put it in here, do we? Secret code card. Yes, that's for the secret code card. We know all about the secret code card, don't we? Um, right. So, how did we get up there? It was on the other floor, wasn't it? Of course it was. I'm pretty sure it was on the other floor anyway. Right, let's go back up. Are we on? Ha. I guess so. I th I'm pretty sure we need to go to the 27th floor. But I can't 100% remember how we get up there. I know it's something to do with the steel wire. Do we have to use the steel wire again? Maybe. Right, anyway, well, let's kick an ass or two. Let's see if we can get some health back. Well, these guys look like they're going to be incredibly stingy and give us absolutely nothing. Which, you know, it seems like the drop rate is somewhere around 50%. Maybe slightly less. Yeah, about 50%. That does seem to be roughly where it's at. Is it worth going into the shower and kicking this guy's ass? I think so. I mean, it'd be rude to just leave his ass here now, wouldn't it? Very rude to just leave him there. You're gonna. Oh, Papa Mutant was very good to us. A generous donation from Papa Mutant. Okay. Now, let's go through here. I honestly don't know if we can get up here via the steel cable. Which begs the question, how do we get up there? Are the elevator's working again? Maybe? I don't think so. Uh, or, you know, maybe they might be working again. Go to 27. Apparently 27 is the top floor. At least it's the top floor for this elevator. <clears throat> I did not realize these elevators worked. I feel incredibly stupid. I must have forgotten that little detail. Oh, hi. Well, this is awkward. All right, well, no point beating around the bush. Nope, that didn't work now, did it? Let's wait for him to get up. There we go. 
Oh, that's the hit of the whole fruit. Right there. Okay, that worked. Luckily, we can kick this guy's ass when he starts moving. Yes. God, that's satisfying. That's so satisfying. Ooh, health as well. Thanks, Pappy. Oh, we have mutants. Oh, my. Hey, mutie. This is going to hurt, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Come on, son. Let dad show you how it's done. Oof. Are you winning, son? Nope. No health. Hey, friend. God, I'd like to know a little bit more about these things. And I like that, that powered move because it doesn't cause us any damage at all. You would have thought it would, but no, apparently not. The moves that actually hurt us uh, seem to be like really random. They don't necessarily seem to be the most damaging moves. Ah, oh, that was ass. That was ass. Timing was completely off there. And there. Yeah, there's a hell of a wind up for that move, but it makes sense because if you catch them right, they're basically done. Oh, we haven't saved it for a while either, have we? Fuck it, save state. Right. There isn't any save rooms around here, is there? No. Oh, well. It's, oh, it's locked. Ah, oh, yeah, there was a fucking lift, wasn't there? I remember things about stuff. Let's go. Oh. Okay, so this goes to the D room. Yeah, calm down. Calm down, Burns. <laughs> He's just nuts. Absolutely nuts. I like the way his body is like 90% leg. Like his actual body is this tiny little blip on these massive dangly legs. Right, let's go. Oh, cutscene. Hello. Gashu, you made it this far, but the game's up. So, Wernsey Wernsey's alive. Oh, God. I just seen ghosts. No, punk. This is real live flesh and blood you're looking at. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> but not. So now we have to fight a cartoon character, I'm guessing. Is he like a robot or something? I, like, I don't know what the deal is with this dude. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, look how much health he's got. Whoa, what's he doing? Okay. So he's got some kind of laser attack, which is questionable. Oh, come on. Oh no, this is going to hurt, isn't it? Yeah, he gives us the double-ended kick in the sacks. Yeah, eye laser hurts. So it looks like we can just sit here and just wail on his ass. Which, okay. Seemed to do a pretty good job of stun-locking him. Actually, okay. Really? Alright. I mean, that's fine. I'm happy. Okay. Okay. Maybe he's got like a second form or something. I mean, he's not even aiming in our direction there. Not that I'm complaining or anything like that. When he does that, maybe we can... No, so we can't actually appear to hit him with that move. He just automatically avoids it. That's fine, because he seems to have issues with his ocular implants. I mean, most of this, he's not even looking in the right direction. Which is good. Bosses in this game so far have been a bit of a mixed bag. Come on, douchebag, get up. Big old sack of shit here. I mean... It's not like we're playing on easy or anything, I don't think. Can't actually remember if there are difficulty levels. 
This dude's just a punching bag. I mean, the big scorpion pet thing was quite significantly harder than this guy. I mean, maybe this guy's harder if we're playing as a different character, perhaps. I mean, gas anus, that was just, that was just sad, mate, really. And he shrank down to nothing as well, like all the other enemies. Is he dead? Well, I don't know. Oh, the bomb. Yeah. Uh... Now, we're going to save it here because as far as I know, there is a failure ending we can get for this. This must be the fuse. Uh-oh. Sure looks that way. You have, thank well, God. I screwed up with it and blew up a building. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> so he has something that we're not sure, but he screwed up and blew up a building. Okay. Oh, God. Right. Search. We have to get this cover off to get to the fuse. Okay. Do we have tools to we do have that? To get this cover off to get to the fuse. Right. I'm with you. Caution, right, so that's one. Oh, right, what, uh... We have to get this cover yeah, so how do we, how do we, like, manipulate things? This looks like a button. Right, got ya. This button should release the cover. Got ya. You're really going to press it? I guess. Uh, no, because we want to push the wrong button. Because that gives us a cutscene. Release the cover. Sure looks that way. You're really going to press it? We are. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. I guess. Hey, that's the detonator. You're really going to press it? Yes. Shouldn't you check it out? Nah, be fine. You're really going to press it? Yes. Is it not going to let me? Hey, that's the detonator. Okay, I guess is it You're really going to press it? Is it really not going to let me? Should you check it out first? Press it. Uh, I guess no, cuz you're not going to let me. That the game gives you a choice there, but it's not actually a choice. We need to press the button with the same letter on it as this. Okay. Wow. You know your stuff, don't you, Mr. Byford? Uh, is somebody uh, extracting the urine a little bit there? She's definitely taking the piss, I think. Right now, could we push the wrong button? The cover. Sure looks that way. You're really going to press it? I don't know, game. Are you going to let me push it? So, the game doesn't let you get this wrong. Okay. I thought that we could actually get this wrong. This button should release the cover. Really going to press it? Yes. Are we going to press it? How many times do you have to say yes? Perfect. Three more to go. Right. So now we have to push zero. But let me guess, it's not actually going to let us push a different at uh, the wrong button, is it? This button should release the cover. Sure looks that way. Hey. That's really bizarre, the fact that this game gives you a choice, but it actually doesn't give you a choice. It won't let you make the wrong decision. That's questionable, considering uh, I did read that there was a way of failing this Release the cover. somehow. Sure looks that way. <laughs> and you get an FMV of it going wrong. But are we gonna press it? Do you have to push yes three times, or Next one. I don't know why you have to push yes so many times because you can't get it wrong. 
I guess we're gonna push this one. This button should release the cover. This could have been really cool, <laughs> but I guess they just. I can't sit there and listen. I can't sit there listening to them repeat the same line over and over again. Oh, but which? Maybe the only one left. Oh, would you look at that? I'm a fucking genius. This button should release the cover. Are you going to press it? Yes, we're really going to press it because it's the only button that's left. I don't know. Are we? That's the cover completely off. Now for the fuse. Right, maybe we can get this bit wrong. We've got no time to lose. Ah. Then we've got to turn the fuse to the left or right to release it. Okay. Deciding which way is the problem. Left or right? Last time I got it wrong and boom. <laughs> okay. Stay cool, Mr. Byford. Well, all right, all right. I think we better drop a save then. I'm guessing there's no actual um, hint here. Can we just wait? I guess we can't just wait. So we have to get it wrong. Let's try right. Yes, I'm sure. How's something wrong? <gasps> How did he survive if he got it wrong? Oof. <laughs> Everybody, fall to your knees, kiss your ass goodbye. That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I... Hmm, there should have been more points of failure. Because the trouble is... That's such an easy puzzle because the game won't actually let you get it wrong. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, there's no pressure here whatsoever. Which is a real mixed opportunity, because the idea behind that puzzle is really, really cool and fun. But the game doesn't really let you fuck it up, so all the tension is gone. We did it. We did. We deactivated the bomb. We're alive! Yay! Well, I mean, you're not. You're a robot. But yeah. Thanks to the good old special forces. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Nice to see you laughing again, Mr. Byford. You were shaking like a leaf before. What I'd like to know is why they planted the bomb in the first place. No point worrying about it now. We <laughs> disarmed it, didn't we? Hopefully. I mean, I guess we disarmed it. Well, uh, okay. We disarmed the bomb, which is good. Yes, good. Uh, I think we've discovered why Burns is a little bit slow as well. He's obviously taken one of those bombs to the face in a previous mission. Um, and survived. Well, I mean... Is his slowed mental state really living? 
you know. We're discovering a lot about Mr. Burns here. I suppose a face full of TNT would slow you down just a little bit. Anyway. Where next? Uh, can we go through here now? There's a note on the door. Let's see. If you want your professor, bring the... Oh, well, we have the system disk. Okay, so I guess the door's open now. Cool. Right, let's start having a little look around in here. Ooh, whoa, that's fancy. What's that about? Oh, it's a save point. Uh, yeah, don't mind if I do, actually. Seems like a reasonable idea right about now. I mean, I appreciate... Oh, I bastard. I appreciate the fact that they went through all the trouble of creating, like, a game over cutscene. That was pretty cool, but... Oh, they could have done so much more with that explosive bomb. They really could have. Um, you know... I don't know why you'd put a puzzle with that kind of detail in, which was pretty impressive for the PlayStation 1 game. But you take all of the tension and danger away by not allowing you to make the wrong decision until the end. It, I don't know, why I even ask you the question? It just seems a bit strange to me. Never mind, one of the quirks of this game, I suppose. So we have a reception desk. So what floor are we on now then? Ah, oh yeah, of course, still the 27th floor. Okay, cool. Uh, yellow EX bottle, not bad. So yellow EX bottle, not sure who I want to give that to. I want to save some of these EX bottles for Michelle. I'm going to assume, oh wow, this place has really opened up now. I'm going to assume that she's not out for the game, question mark? Or is she? I'd be a little bit disappointed if she is now gone for the game because she's my favourite character to play as. Burns is growing on me. He's not bad. He's uh, definitely not bad. And it is... Ooh, machinery gear. Machinery gear? Alright. Is that like Metal Gear? Metal Gear's uh, smaller cousin? I don't know. Right, so what have we got? got a collection of doors here I suppose it's only right to start going through them Ooh, we have a roulette room I'm guessing we need something for that is there something we can do at the table might need an item oh, listen to this music music it's f absolutely fantastic um, an old-fashioned roulette okay yeah this game oh what a little hidden gem this game is now it's not perfect you know and you don't expect it to be but overall what a gem this is I really wish I'd had this as a kid I'd have really enjoyed it okay ah we have enemies in this room. Ooh, that looks like a mine hidden behind the couch. I. You can't fool me. Well, I mean, you can, but let's try not to. It's to do with the history of machine... Oh, Machinery Gear Inc. Okay. The fact they use gold letters really gets at me. Okay. Is there a reason it gets at you? Are you dyslexic? Just trust me, brother. I feel your pain. Right, we know there's an enemy around here because we can lock onto him. Oh! It's one of you guys. Now, is that going to kill them? Oh, that actually did damage the enemy. That's quite cool. Right, let's pound this guy's ass. Be nice if you drop some health for me, sir. Sorry, no mutants allowed in the grim reality of the future. And you gave me nothing. 
That's not very nice. Machinery gearing. I'm afraid we don't have the time to search through it right now. Really? Is there anything in here at all? Pretty heavy books here. Well, that, you're, you're a pretty burly man. So that's okay. Do you mean heavy as in the subject matter? Research reports. Don't have the faintest clue about them. So we're not going to go back and check on Michelle. Ooh, first aid kit. Soothing. Well, we've got a first aid kit, so... Uh, I mean... That's cool, I suppose. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Right, what else have we got going on down here? We got any other ah Is that the door we came in at? I think Oh no it's not, I guess not. Oh dude, come on. I mean what's the matter with you guys? Do you really think you've got any chance against this Chad Thundercock here? Honestly. Pathetic. Hey, we've got some health at least. Right, now, is there any goodies in here? Found a first aid tube. Hey, that's more like it. How many are we going to get? Eh, well, you know. Happy with that. Hmm. Come on, we need sharp pictures. Not ones like this, which just have lots of paint everywhere. What? Okay. What's this? A TV. That reminds me. I have to get the one at home checked out. Alright. Uh, well, I mean, I guess there's not much here. Got some nice first aid tubes, though. Nothing in the plant pot. Okay. I guess nothing. Right. Um, so, we're going upstairs, I guess. Well, we're actually on half an hour now, guys. So, I'm going to go... Just going to save state it. It's just easier than going through the very slow, bloody memory card system. Um, yeah, okay. Well, we're out of time for now. So, we're going to leave it there. We've managed to get to a new floor. Oh, wait. Hang on. What room is that that apparently has... Oh, shit. That apparently has another door. Ah, right, the games room. Yeah, so the games room has a secret door, which was pretty obvious, I guess. But we need an item first. Okay. But we do have some stairs leading up. So when we come back, guys, we're going to go up those stairs. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.